Welcome traders to another Ticknell earnings report preview with me Patrick Munley. Before we jump into today's report as always it's important we adhere to the risk disclaimer. The material provided is for information purposes only and should not be considered as investment advice. The views, information and opinions expressed by me in this recording are solely mine and they are not indicative or representative of those held by Ticknell UK or Ticknell Europe Limited. Okay, let's jump into today's report. We're looking at BioNTech, who report before the US Open today. Um, consensus is looking for an earnings per share print of $9.14 on revenue of $4.59 billion. BioNTech last issued its earnings data on March 30th. Uh, they reported $12.18 per share for the quarter. Uh, topping analyst consensus estimates for $7.44 by $4.74. The business had revenue of $5.53 billion for the quarter compared to analyst expectations of $3.83 billion. Its revenue for the quarter was up 1,501% on a year-over-year -year basis. BioNTech has generated $46.76 earnings per share over the last year diluted earnings per share, on a diluted earnings per share basis that comes in at $46.76 and currently has a price to earnings ratio of 2.9. Earnings for BioNTech are expected to decrease by 53.76% over the coming year from $34.60 to $16 per share. BioNTech has confirmed that its next quarterly Earnings report will be published today before the bell. Looking for a release there at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Okay, let's look at some of the statistical trading patterns around um, the earnings releases. Bantech shares have moved higher in the immediate aftermath of earnings. Six out of ten of the previous reports. On average, the stock moved up 2.4% in the first day of trading after the company's release. Based on the previous ten earnings releases, Bantech is more likely to trade lower one day after earnings for an average loss of 1.5%. On average, BioNTech stock has moved lower one week after earnings for an average loss of 4.3%. In terms of what the option market is pricing, options traders are looking for a 10.8% move on earnings. The stock has averaged an 8.3% move in recent quarters. From the flow and sentiment perspective, um, Friday, March 25th, there was notable buying 581 contracts of the $135 put expiring January 19, 2024. Options order flow though in general has been uh, more bullish. Uh, investor sentiment going into the company's earnings release has 52% expecting an earnings beat. Consensus estimates for year over year earnings growth of 72.78% uh, with revenue increasing by 85.89%. Short interest has decreased by 21.1% since the company's last earnings release. Although the stock has drifted lower by 26.2% from its open following the earnings release to be 44% below its 200-day moving average of $243.10. Okay, let's jump into the charts and see where there may be some opportunities from a trading perspective. If we look at the BioNTech chart, obviously it's, uh, it's been a fairly significant downtrend. However, I do note here on the daily time frame a potential inverse head and shoulders pattern developing. Now, obviously, we would need to see some uh, some upside in terms of uh, earnings per share there to get a move back through this descending trend line at $151. If we could get that uh, move and a close through there on a daily closing basis, then I'd look for a move up into uh, projected monthly range resistance, $181.54. And notably, we have a gap just above there at the 194 level. However, if we get follow through back down through these prior lows at the 121 handle, uh, I would be bearish and looking for a move lower uh, to test the high volume node here at the 105.50. And we also have monthly projected range support coming in there just below 104. So uh, key levels for me are going to be that uh, 121 level to the downside, a break, and I want to be short to the upside through 151. I want to be long, targeting move up into the monthly projected range resistance. As always, traders plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.